do you think that the acquisition of, of Rondo now will push them ahead of the Lakers? I think so. I think it will because I think that they were lacking a true playmaker on the court. Uh, I, I like Jackson. I like um, I like some of the other guys on that team, but there is a level of Jason Kidness, if that's a word, that Rondo, Rondo possesses um, that the Clippers lacked. Um, NBA Hall of Famer Isaiah Thomas said this to me during the playoff. We were texting last during the playoffs last year, and he said to me, Rondo is the smartest point guard in the NBA. I can believe it. And when you look at Lou Williams, as you mentioned, third leading score on that team, averaging 12 points a game, I think shooting 37%. Um, what was it down this season? A little down, but they're also playing in a different system. Yes. Everybody, just because Lou Williams – uh, or, or rather, there's a lot of lose. Just because Ty Lue was the head coach, he was inheriting a Doc Rivers system, and there are some differences in Lue, Ty Lue's system. Uh, and, and we talked about this on the phone the other day. I, I feel like Ty Lue is playing the role of himself as he did in Cleveland, ex except this time it's in Los Angeles with the Clippers when he took over for David Blatt. The only difference is Doc Rivers is no David Blatt. Doc Rivers has a ring with the Celtics, and Ty Lue comes out of that Celtic system and – Rajon Rondo knows Lou from that 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 Celtic system, um, and you know I I think when you look at just down the stretch, he's been there. Um, I, I believe that there is something about ex year two with an experiment. You you saw it with the Nets uh, when you know KD was out all last season and Kyrie uh, subsequently uh, had thoracic bursitis in his shoulder. Um, and then, you know, in year two, you, you bring in James Harden and the other pieces, right? So then you look at the Lakers, you look at LeBron in year one, his groin injury. And then in year two, that summer, you bring in Anthony Davis and then they win a championship. And I think the Clippers are in that same ex experimental phase where I think they needed a younger, fresher voice. Um, and you've seen what Ty Lue can do with superstars with LeBron, I think, he has something to prove because people look at Ty Lue as a coach that just um, was LeBron's enabler and wasn't a real coach. And I think in this system with, you know, Paul George and with uh, Kawhi Leonard, uh, he's got two stars. I, I will superstar and a star. I consider Kawhi a superstar. I consider Paul George a star. Yeah. Um, I, I think when it's all said and done, though, adding Rondo, who is an extension to the floor, is, is a great look. I think that the coaching changes in Atlanta uh, between Lloyd Pierce and then with Nick McMillan, who, you know, it, it didn't – didn't get the respect he was doing his way out of Indiana. I think when you look at the the, the Hawks, uh, Rondo was brought in to be that extension of the coach. Uh, they are a playoff team, but they're not a championship team. Rondo wasn't – there was interest from the Clippers this summer. Um, and, and I'm told by someone in his circle uh, that uh, ultimately – uh, the Lakers weren't obviously weren't offering him the most money. The Hawks were offering him the most money and guaranteed money for two years. So he goes back to he goes to the Clippers, who was interested but could, didn't give him what he wanted. Now he gets that guaranteed money and he can chase our championship for for two seasons. So yeah, I think it all worked out the way it was supposed to work out. Clippers have been trying to move Lou Williams for a while now, so they got they all got what they wanted. Lou right. Williams get his lemon pepper wings. Rajon Rondo can chase another championship. Smush Parker here, pulling me up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Live from the camp. Uh huh. This is Real Fans Real Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real